If you want to see me swatch the eyeshadow palette I have on my eyes today, then stick around. Hi there, it's Elen and welcome back, or if it's your first time here, welcome to HMM Makeup or Hmm Makeup. I have a love affair with purples and burgundies and this palette has not disappointed. I did a first impressions look in uh, this video, if you want to see, I, not my makeup application, but I did do talk about my first impressions of the uh, this palette. And uh, so it's, I think it's, it's worth it if you want to get a feel for what I thought of the very, very first use of, of the palette. Uh, this is the Supreme Mauves from Artiste Couture. And I, I love burgundies and mauves. I, I, it's it's a, a category of color that really speaks to me. And this palette is a palette that I could have seen myself come up with. It has everything from neutrals to a very nice last row of burgundies and purples that just speak to me uh, and with a touch of pink as well. I think this palette is beautiful. It's, it has the pinks and purples to do a more fun look, kind of like what I have here, and also the neutrals for the palette to be acceptable and appropriate no matter the occasion. Given that fact, I want to swatch uh, this lovely palette for you today. It's not a huge number of shadows. I think it's 15, no, 14. No, what am I talking about? It's 12. <laughs> 12 eyeshadows. <laughs> My ability to do math has just left the building. Anyway, <laughs> it is 12. 3 times 4 Elen is 12. So here is the uh, the palette again. So I'm going to just go uh, row by row because I really feel like we've got a nice row of very, very light neutrals, something in the middle, and then the bam, <laughs> a row at the bottom. I think that we will end with a punch of color. So let's go right in. And uh, I like the names of the shadows. And because I like the names of the shadows, I will uh, speak them as I swatch because it's just fun. So we have Overexposed, which is a matte. Risqué, which is a very shiny color. Provocative. And Stripped Down. So these are the four for the first colors. Hopefully the camera is... There we go. That's much better with my dry hands. Let's start... Ooh, start with these guys. Oh, there's a little bit of pink in this one. Okay. And I just want to see the, the names of the shadows here. So we have Overexposed, Risqué, and that, that is beautiful. That would be a topper on just about any of the other colors. It has a translucent base, which is it's just beautiful. I hope the camera is giving it its uh, proper attention. And then we have the third one, Provocative and Strip Down. Okay, so they definitely need a second pass and that's all right. Um, but they do look like they're buildable, so let's see what happens. Okay, so here are the fingers again. And we're going to build up from where we left off. The second go is always lovely. And I'm a sucker for uh, Dusty Rose, and this is a beautiful Dusty Rose. And then this last one is just a hint of shimmer. Might be really nice on the brow bone or the very, very inner lid. All right, so here are the first four. They're very light. Hopefully the camera is doing them justice. There are the four. One, two, three, four. And the fingers, I like to show the fingers. So that is the first four or the first row in the Artiste Couture Supreme Mauves. And only one 
<laughs> one finger is pretty mauve like the other ones are neutrals but that's okay I'm just wiping my fingers and we'll get to the next row we've done this one so far and now we're going into some beiges with one that looks like a red at the end of the row and I'm looking forward to it <laughs> The shadow names get more interesting. So we have Kinky, Lust, Audacious, those are three mats, and then we have a punch of color at the end, which is Obscene. No holding the punches on this one. So these are the four colors, and this is going to be a beautiful one for sure. Oof. Okay, Kinky, Lust, Audacious, and Obscene. Well, Obscene, you're lackluster. <laughs> Going to definitely have to build that one up. Okay, so those are the four and the fingers. And I'm going to re-swatch. Kinky, Lust, Audacious, and Obscene. Let's see how that builds up. I'm going to build up Obscene one more time just because it's the pinky and there's just more to it. So let's just see how much more I can get out of that. Okay, let's see how much. I, I mean, I've had a color like this before, but I do want to give these swatches their time in the spotlight. Okay, so there we go. This, I guarantee you, can be a lot more punchy than, than I'm offering it in the swatches. I'm positive because you just look at the finger, right? You can see how it might look on the eye. It has, it has potential for sure. Okay, and the last row I'm super excited about, but you knew that already. So these four are uh, what I cannot wait to swatch next. And of course it's what's left, so it is obviously going to be next. And it's uh, Royale, Sex Appeal, Seductress, and Prestige. And Prestige and Seductress are what I have on my eyes today. So I have Prestige on the outer uh, lid, outer crease, and then I have Seductress on the inner to two thirds of the lid. And I, I like the combo. I think it looks uh, pretty darn good. All right, so we're going to do the uh, one of the two mats that are in this row, which is Royale. Sex Appeal is very pretty. Seductress, which is purple, I love purple. And then Prestige, which I, I have, as I've mentioned. Uh, that mat on my eyes. So that is the four. I think I'm going to really like Sex Appeal. Okay, so we have Royale. That's very pretty. And Sex Appeal. Oh yeah, that's really nice. Translucent Base, Pink and Peach. Lovely. And then we have Seductress, another really nice one, but I knew that already. <laughs> and Prestige. Oh, look at that. Look at how that builds nicely on itself. Yeah, the first pass was light and then it just darkened right up. So let's do a second go. I love to show the fingers because they usually have more saturation than the arm. Very nice. Let's go in again. Royale, Sex Appeal, I think, yes, Seductress, and Prestige. There we go. That is all 12 of the colors 
in the Artiste Couture Supreme Mauves. And really, when I think of the Supreme Mauves, it's really only these guys <laughs> that make me think of that. Everything else is extremely utilitarian, which is okay. It's okay. Um, these guys pack a punch. Everything else, like I said, except for this one, this one is really quite... Uh, it's, 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 it's definitely... It would hold its own on inner to two-thirds of the lid for sure. Um, but yeah, I would say there, there are one, two, three, four punchy colors, um, a couple of deeper colors, and then everything else is um, just embellishment or just a, a nice pairing of, of whatnot. But it, they do look like um, there are a number of shadows that would certainly give um, a nice amount of dimension, depth to the eye, and create some very pretty looks. I would certainly not say that the look that I have on my eyes today is not good. I think it's good. And I went in blind, I hadn't swatched anything, I hadn't tried anything, and I feel like it was very, it was effortless to create a look with the palette. So it took me five minutes on one eye and then I replicated on the other side. Really not a complicated look. Um, would I consider this palette approachable and very usable? Absolutely. And, and I like to go in with the more challenging colors. So, I mean, I went with these guys, I'm pretty sure. Yes. I went in with these guys to create uh, the look that I have on today. So it's, it's not, there are no colors in here that I would consider challenging. I think that they would all be easy to use. It looks like all of the colors would go well together. Um, I don't see any kind of opportunity for colors to clash. So I would definitely call this a very approachable palette. Uh, I, I'm quite happy with the color story. Uh, is it wild? No, it's very utilitarian. But I would argue that most people looking for eyeshadow are looking for um, colors and pairings that are easy to do. I don't think that most people who are grabbing a palette uh, either on the go or in their makeup collection are necessarily looking for challenging combos. If you're trying to get ready for an event or you're trying to get ready for work, you, you, you want to just get a nice look and be out the door. Most of us, most of the time, that's what we're looking for. We're not into makeup artistry necessarily on a day-to-day -day basis. So with that in mind, I think that this is a very nice palette. I don't know if it's still available, um, but I hope so. But um, that said, uh, I for, for a first experience with Artist Couture, or Artist Couture, I'm not sure, I'm pleased. I'm pleased. Am I wowed by the palette? No, but it's, it looks like a really solid palette that I could just throw in my purse uh, or throw in a travel bag uh, to use for, I don't know, two to four days uh, without getting bored. I, I think that it's a, it's a decent palette. It's a really decent palette. The color story was well curated, especially for the name uh, Supreme Mobs. It, it does uh, fit its name. I'm, I'm okay with, with uh, the suggestion that there are quite a few uh, mauves, purples, pinks in there. Um, it, does, it does fit the idea of the color story. Um, I mean, just looking at the last row and this one, we're kind of get the, we're kind of there. So um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with uh, the palette. I'm not quite sure why it stayed in my collection unused for a, a significant amount of time. And I'm kind of kicking myself because it, it, the, the colors are really pretty. And I can definitely see myself using them regularly. I think this, this might be a palette that I end up having on my counter, my makeup counter. Um, yeah. And the, the packaging, like I said before in a previous video, it's very sleek and doesn't take very much room, which I also appreciate. You could put this in a, in a purse and do your, your makeup at work. It would, it's, it takes so little space. Um, I would even, I would consider it for travel. I would consider it for the office. I would consider it for, um, 
uh, is a good palette to have to bring along for touch-ups, that kind of thing. Um, yeah, I'm really happy with it and I am likely to try more things from Artist Couture or Artist Couture uh, in the future based on my uh, experience with the palette. You've seen the swatches, you've seen a look. Um, there's nothing for me to complain about. So, that said, obviously the palette gets my endorsement. Let me know what you think of the look and I will leave it at that. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it every single time, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. But for now, as always, take care.